Hello and welcome back to this next mini YouTube lecture entitled Bacteriophagelytic Cycle. Okay, so in the lecture we learned that a bacteriophage is a virus that infects bacterial cells. All right, so bacteriophage viruses are basically nothing than nothing more than DNA that is protected by proteins, including the head proteins. tail and tail fiber proteins, all right? So these three basic types of proteins, the head, the tail, and the tail fibers are going to be the proteins that make up this very simple proto-organism of a bacteriophage. All right. Now, the first step which occurs in the bacteriophage lytic cycle is viruses can attach via their table, tail fibers to the surface of a bacterial cell. So, viruses attach to the surface of a bacterial cell and inject their genetic material. All right, the next thing that happens is once inside of this bacterial cell, then in this next step, the process of transcription of virus DNA results in virus mRNAs. And then inside of the cell, the cell is hijacked so this host machinery is hijacked, including the ribosomes. Then translation of viral RNAs, mRNAs, into the viral proteins. And we can see that each of these different protein components that make up a virus all right, are created. All right, in this last step, this is cell lysis. So now that we have the DNA copied inside of the cell, the transcribed and translated proteins of the viruses, now we have new bacteriophage viruses with their double-stranded DNA genomes that burst out of the cell. And that is the bacteriophage lytic cycle.